Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I would like to share with you another fantastic game from the match played between Alpha 0 and Stockfish 8. Let's go for it and see what happened on the board. Alpha 0 opened up with Knight f3 and e6 by Stockfish 8. c4 white goes for the English opening Knight f6 and after Knight c3 we have the Nimzo English. Queen c2. Instead of queen c2, there is another very beautiful and sharp g4 move. It would have been a lot of fun to see this g4 by alpha 0, but in our game we have this comparatively calmer queen c2 move. Black castles king side a3, bishop takes c3, queen takes c3. This is a line which was seen a lot during this encounter. d6, another popular alternative is playing b6 and Fianke toing the light squared bishop, but in our game we have d6. b4, e5, e3, bishop g4, bishop e2, bishop h5, d3, knight d7, bishop b2, rook e8, white castles king side, queen e7, queen c2, a5, h3, h6, rook c1, and after b6, seeing that already c5 is not a good idea, alpha 0 moved the rook back on f1. This is insane, guys, and typical maneuvers we are going to see a lot of times during this game, and this time rook e1, c5 by stockfish, and b5, alpha 0 is locking up the queen side, and now it will also play a4 and will completely lock up the queen side here. We have a4 and will start organizing his game on the king side. Queen c7, knight h4. We see the exchange of light squared bishops on e2, d5, knight f5, d4, and this time we have e4. This is alpha 0's typical strategy, is locking up the position and then is starting to squeeze maximum of the position. Knight e7, and here we have g4. But let's see how is white going to break through. Meanwhile, we have an equal game, king g2. Now white will bring his rooks to the king side. The second rook is also coming, and we see the exchange of knights on f5. White managed to open up the g file and will try to penetrate Black's camp from that g file f4 is on the board, knight f8, of course capturing on f4 is not a good idea because after bishop takes f4 suddenly this dark squared bishop will get very active, that's why we have knight f8 from where the knight is covering the g6 square, rook g4, white is preparing to double up his rooks on the g5, meanwhile black is consolidating his position, black is moving his king on the other side of the board, where the pawn structure is locked up and there will be no way to harass the king. We see f takes e5, f takes e5, bishop d2, rook e7, looks like that black is doing great and the question arises how to break through. Queen h2, king c8, h5, white found a nice way of activating the bishop, rook d7, bishop h4, meanwhile black is defending queen d6, and in here alpha 0 made a powerful move, rook g6, look at this, everything was ready for the final blow and now white rooks are starting to penetrate black's camp. This is alpha 0's typical strategy, it is first locking up the position and is starting to maneuver. As you know, Stockfish and other chess engines are very bad in locked up positions. Very quickly they are losing the right path. And of course, on the other hand, Alpha Zero is a monster in maneuvering. It is managing to strengthen his position while the other side is still evaluating the position as equal. And it's in there when Alpha Zero is landing a heavy punch. He's going for a sacrifice, which is interesting, very often is going for an exchange sacrifice, after which the opponent is finding himself in trouble. Here we have it, an exchange sacrifice in the style of Tigran Petrosian. Queen b8 by stockfish 8, but let's have a look what if knight takes g6, then in this case after rook takes g6, queen b8, white can first play queen g3, 
and then can free the g6 square for the queen and the queen is penetrating guys and it's over after which white can also offer an exchange of queens and this end game is hopeless for black white will also win this pawn on e5 after which white pawns supported by the king very easily will finish up the opponent in our game after rook g6 we have queen b8 now comes rook c6 check king b7 king e2 first we see a prophylactic move and after another waiting move by stockfish here we go the second rook is penetrating the opponent's camp look at this guys this is simply magnificent and yes i have to repeat that alpha zero style especially those exchange sacrifices are always reminding me of iron tigran right now that threat is rook takes b6 that's why virtually knight takes g6 is forced h takes g6 rook f8 rook e6 white is coming after the pawn on e5 and there we have it queen takes e5 after which the rest is going to be very easy rook e6 king a8 strange but stockfish is giving away this pawn as well but if a move like king c7 trying to keep that pawn and make waiting moves then this white king will come on h5 square and then f6 is coming and the game is over guys in our game after rook e6 we have king a8 but here alpha zero simply won the pawn on b6 rook c7 rook d6 and in here believe it or not but stockfish 8 resigned let's have a look at one of the possible lines how white can finish up his opponent actually all black can do is to make waiting moves after which white can offer an exchange of rooks and then this massive pawns will march forward after which there will be no way to stop them f7 and the game is over that's why as i've already mentioned on move 53 after rook d6 stockfish 8 resigned another very impressive game by alpha zero on the surface it looked like that the game would definitely end up in a draw but with a beautiful maneuvering chess Alpha Zero managed to gain advantage and then started to offer his rooks one after another, went for an exchange sacrifice after which Black's position collapsed. Thanks for watching, I hope that you enjoyed this game. For more games consider subscribing to my channel, also press the bell button to get notified about new uploads. I will see you in the next video. Good luck!